Mushrooms are, they have an incredible allure. They're, they're mystical and magical. Absolutely beautiful in some cases, really weird in other cases. They can be edible, medicinal, used for dyeing. And so and then you've got, you've got this black ink. They can kill you. You can eat them, the, but you don't want to drink alcohol or you'll get sick. <laughs> there's quite an appeal to get out there. It's like treasure hunting in the forest. And of course, there's always the desire to eat the mushrooms. And that's, that's the one place where you need to be really um, careful because you want to make sure that you're eating an edible mushroom that's and know how to like distinguish that friends. from possible lookalikes or something that might be poisonous. Okay. So Lynn, this is a chanterelle. Uh, it's really common in our forest, growing out of the forest floor at the base of Douglas fir trees in partnership with that tree and they help each other to grow. Ecologically, but for we naturalists, one of the things beyond their beauty and interest is that they're extremely important in the environment. There's, there's three main ecological roles that mushrooms play and one is what people are familiar with mostly is decomposers. So you'll find them growing on your compost pile, um, a dead fallen tree because they're in there rotting the tree and uh, eating the nutrients in the tree and then they fruit out, ed um, sometimes edible mushrooms. So inside the log there is mycelium of the shiitake fungus and then after this log, whoa, two years since we inoculated it, two years, and this is the first time it's fruiting and you can see it's got a whole bunch of mushrooms coming out on its first flush. There's also mushrooms that are parasites and they, they commonly will be attacking a living tree and then it might compromise or kill the tree. Uh, and there's actually some uh, parasites that are edible also, like the lobster mushroom. Uh, and then there's a really interesting, very important kind of mushroom. Uh, they are called mycorrhizal, and the, um, an example of that is chanterelles. And they form a buddy-buddy system with the trees where they exchange nutrients and help each other to grow. They're important for uh, decaying and consuming and recycling, basically. In this case, um, this is a guild mushroom. So that's what we're familiar with. It has a stalk and a cap and gills on the underside. There's many types of edible mushrooms. You know, you only see a couple species in the store, but in the wild there's, there's dozens of kinds that you can eat around here and identify pretty easily. They, are, they all are a different creature, so they have different nutritional compositions. In general, mushrooms are high in protein, the, they don't have fat, and they've got uh, minerals and vitamins in them also. And so this is one that I'll take uh, and put in a pot of water and simmer it uh, on my wood stove for hours and then drink the water like tea and it boosts my immune system. So Mushrooms uh, like water and so they, the rainy season here in the fall is when you get the most uh, different types of mushrooms growing and the most uh, abundance of mushrooms.